Hi there. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about practicing subtraction. So there are, are many ways that your second grader can subtract and we'll go over a few of those that they will see in the classroom. All right, so here are some of the subtraction strategies that are um, introduced and used throughout the year in the um, typical second grade classroom. So we have counting back, we have, um, and that would be usually with a number line. Often we introduce an open number line and I'll go over that. Using manipulative, so these would be tools, um, counters, cubes, drawing pictures, um, models. Those are some of the terms that you'll hear, some of the vocabulary that's often used uh, within the classroom and on assessments. We have counting on. There are some students that never really subtract. They actually add and they're comfortable moving the numbers around and count on. So that is also appropriate. And then there's decomposing the numbers. So finding 10, finding friendly facts. And again, those are your your numbers kids. A lot of time those are the kids that are comfortable breaking apart numbers to make them um, make more sense to them. All right, so let's go take a look at what we have here. So the first strategy we'll talk about is the counting back strategy. And this is where you put the big number in your head and you're counting backwards. So this is when we um, talk about traditional subtraction where we start with a larger number. So let's introduce what we have here is the open number line concept. All right, and let's say that your student is faced with a problem such as 12 minus 5. With an open number line, what they would then do is start off at their 12. So they'd mark here and say, okay, this is 12, and we're going to count back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so we count those. And we say 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. So 12 minus 5 equals 7. Now for our next strategy, we're actually counting on. So in this case, 12 minus 5, your second grader may not start at 12. They may know that, well, in order to find 12 minus 5, that means 5 plus something equals 12. And so in this case, they start at the 5, right? So they'll start at the 5, and then they'll count on until they get to 12. And then again, they get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 is our mystery number. Now we're talking about using manipulatives or drawing a model or drawing a picture. So in this situation, we teach the children to draw quick picks is what we call them. So if we're drawing quick picks, it could be something as simple as 12 boxes or triangles or whatever it is, 12 somethings, right? Because that's the number that we're starting with. So we have 12, so we're at four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, we'll pretend they're all the same, nine, ten, eleven, wow, <laughs> twelve. All right, so we've got twelve here. Now our job is to take away or cross off what we are subtracting. So we had our total amount. Now this is a reasonable strategy when we have small numbers, but when we start getting into larger numbers, it's going to be very challenging to draw the total amount for what we have, right? So this is something, again, we would um, we would like to see our children graduate from this strategy. And when we get to double digits, I'll show you a, um, a better use of drawing to solve. So there's still a way to do that, but we'll get to that later on in the year. So here we'll cross off five, one, two, three, four, five. And I always have my students circle the remaining amount so we know what we're focusing on here. And again, our answer is, yay, seven. 
All right, so here's the big one, finding 10 to subtract. This is the one that most parents look at this strategy and think this is this is not, um, that's not how you learned it. And you're right, it is not how you learn this, but it is how your children are learning it, and it is, for some, how they're thinking. So let's look at this model, and this is directly from their textbooks. If they have 14 minus 6, a lot of times, just like with adding, we say find the 10. So in this case, you know you can take 4 away and you'll have 10. So if it's 14 minus 6, we took away the 4, we got 10. Well, we have to go 2 more, okay? So let's go back to our original problem, 12 minus 5. So in this case, I'm going to decompose my 5, right? And you can see it already. Taking away that 2 is going to make my 10. So I can scratch this off and I can scratch that off and I have 10 and now all I have to do is say 10 minus 1, 2, 3 and once again there's my 7. I hope this helps. So here you have multiple strategies for subtracting and now it's just time for you to go practice.